Kim Jae-jun who was a member of TVXQ and now is a member of JYJ, had the most creepiest experiences one could have as a celebrity, just the story of what Sasangs have been doing to him for the past 20 years will give you chills, but what's even more crazy, is that all of us thought that the whole stalking thing has come to an end and he is living peacefully now, but who knew that it will start again like this. This is a story of a K-pop idol, who has been crazily stalked by Sasangs for over 20 years. I thought that recently Sasangs have been quite active because so much stuff is coming to light, but then I realized, it isn't anything new, it was always like this. Hoshi, Wu Young, Mingyu, Sun, and Sung Kwon got calls during their live streams, so we got to know that their numbers have been leaked, but every idol have faced these uncomfortable situations thanks to Sasangs. I didn't know before how phone numbers and addresses get leaked, but 80's recent song answered so many questions, through their song, Mats, we got to know that Sasangs put GPS on their cars, I don't know how, but they get their hands on idols' numbers, and then sell idols' locations, phone numbers, and personal informations to other fans or we can say to obsessive fans, who don't know how to respect someone's privacy. Anyway, let's talk about what Jay Jung has been dealing with for the past so many year. During a broadcast of his radio program, Late Night Studio, he talked about the horrific experiences he suffered from due to Sasang stalkers for over 12 years of his life. One listener sent in a story about a time they forgot to lock their apartment door before heading out. The listener shared how frightened they were while entering their home that day, worried that something might have happened, but luckily, nothing had gone wrong. After reading this story, Jae Jung said, I know what this feels like better than anyone, I would even say that I experienced these kinds of terrors the most of anyone in South Korea. Then he went on to open up about the terrors he dealt with during his idol days. He said, when he was an idol, Sasangs used to follow him around every day, everywhere. They even went into his house, like it was nothing. He said, back in those days, he would suddenly receive messages from people he didn't know. They just sent Jae Jung some photos in the message. The photos were of his house, living room, bedroom and kitchen, with Jae Jung in them. They just went into his house quietly, took photos of him while he was inside, and left without him knowing. He said, after this, he changed his door lock, one time, when he moved to a new house, he chose one with a great terrace view, but it turned out that the Sasangs rented the apartment that was on the other side of Jae Jung's place, in the same floor, they lived there and watched him every day. So even though he bought the house for the terrace, he never went outside to enjoy the view because they were always watching him from the place across from it. This part of the story literally gave me chills, imagine every time you go on your terrace, you see someone watching you, like every time, that's crazy, why would a sane person go to such lengths, I mean this is more like a psychopath's doing. He said that he was seriously debating moving to a new place again, but then one early morning, he was sleeping and it was completely dark, he heard someone ringing his doorbell, but when he checked the intercom, there was no one outside. He went back to sleep, but it happened again, and when he checked the intercom, there was no one there again, so he got scared and decided to open the door. This man has some serious guts because I would never open the door when there's already creepy stuff happening around me and not knowing what can happen in the next moment. It was extremely dangerous for him to open the door, but thankfully nothing happened. He said when he tried to open the door, it only opened about 30 centimeters. And while he was wondering what was going on, he looked down and saw someone's leg, that means someone blocked the door so he couldn't open it or see outside. If I were him, I would have moved to a new place right on that day, because that's creepy as hell. He closed the door right away, and, when he opened the door again a few minutes later, the person who was blocking the door with their leg wasn't there, he then went to check the stairs, and he said he could hear footsteps, like someone was leaving. He chased after them and found that it was the saw saying again. He was so shocked and called the police, but when the police came, they said to Jae Jung, if they are your fans, then of course they would want to come here, don't call the police on your fans, but it kept happening again and again. Only if the police had listened to it or looked into the matter seriously, he wouldn't have to suffer for 12 years, and even now he can't escape these scary events. He continued and said that, once when he was deep asleep and couldn't hear the bell ringing, whoever was outside, started banging at his door and shaking the door handle aggressively, and he got worked up because of that. Once he ordered food for delivery, and the delivery person had a cap on really low, 
Jae Jung couldn't see his face, that man looked at Jae Jung from behind the cap, only showing him the whites of their eyes. Jae Jung was trying to pay for the food, but then that man suddenly said, You know me, right? Jae Jung said, No, who are you? And that man said, Are you sure you don't know me? And then he just got on the elevator, Jae Jung said, What do you mean? But instead of answering him, that man grinned slowly at Jae Jung and left. Jae Jung then called the delivery service and asked about that person. They told him, That person just quit a minute ago. That means he used the delivery job to find out where Jae Jung lived, and then they quit. Jae Jung said that he always moved houses every two years, without fail, he had to buy a lot of different cars, because they would purposely run into his car. He dealt with these kinds of events for 12 years, but he added that these days, finally, it's not happening to him anymore, he hasn't had to move and have sold all the cars. He said, I'm finally free, these days, I am really happy, but who knew that this happiness wouldn't last long and everything will start happening again. He has been facing all of this for so many years, but when he thought that it is finally over, it started to happen again. Recently, Jae Jung had his 20th anniversary concert. After the event, six Sasang taxis followed him, in his Insta story. He expressed his irritation toward the Sasang fans who continued to follow him using a taxi. He wrote, Drivers like conducting operations on a radio inside their cars, create income through the sinister practice of trampling on someone's precious time and emotions, urged by passengers chasing after taxis at each section, your so called professional process which exploits profits through such creepy tactics, still seems to persist despite the changing times. He continued, Yesterday, all six vehicles, including black box footage, were recorded, and more will be collected in the future. Those of you who invade privacy and collect human suffering should hope for severe punishment. I still vividly remember the frightening words, If Jae Jun gets married, we will definitely visit the wedding venue. I hope you will be duly punished for keeping a close watch. Let's stop here after 20 years, it's been a while since I developed the habit of looking back while eating and walking on the road, aren't you supposed to let go now? This quickly went viral, and Korea's major news broadcasting channels including, SBS, KBS, and MBC, reported on this matter. Not only Jae Jun who has dealt with it for 20 years, but the whole K-pop industry has somewhat faced it at some point of their life, Idol's number getting leaked is considered normal at this point. MBC has called for any information people have related to these Sasang's taxis, as they want to produce a documentary about this issue. This is really important because Sasang incidents barely get mentioned on the news, even though they are dangerous and disturbing, but if MBC succeeds in making the documentary, it might actually bring the changes that we all are waiting for years.